Gwish. Uh, no, Gwish sounds too, um, too pudge. He, this guy is more of a, more of a joker around, I would say. I would say Knob sounds more like him than Gwish. Gwish is more of like a, I would use Gwish on, a like, the other face on the Orin that he could use. That looked like more buff, more like, ooh, in your face type of character. Uh, now, one thing out for you guys, um, tell me if the sound is above my voice, like, can you hear my voice okay, is the sound too low or too high? The cavern master finishes, addressing the group, his bushy red mustache and sagging jowls quivering, as if for emphasis. Everybody stays close to the wagons, got it? Stay out of the woods, and beasts take you if you were planning a stroll through those ruins up there. He nods towards a rooming black mass on the hillside. Whole area's crawling with hut-dwelling types who'd be happy to stick an axe in you for trespassing. So mind that you don't track mud on their sacred blazing rocks. Okay, but whatever those are. You pronounce knob like knob. I... Gob. Gob. Yeah. Okay. I'm not just gonna do knob. I like knob. And that's how I'm gonna do it. Done. So I think you need to enter combat to know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Tonight, everybody stays put, and in the morning, we'll get the path cleared. Gilded Veil's less than a day out. Understood? May maybe that's the point? Maybe? Maybe? Is that a good excuse to mispronounce the name? <laughs> Touch of the rumbling rot could be. There's a stinging beetle around here carries it. You'll be fine once it passes your innards, unless you don't drink water, of course. In which case you'll be dead in a day. Yeah. There's a berry grows in these parts, small and pink, called a springberry, about the size of a fingernail. Give you cramps if you eat it, but the frontiersmen make a tea from it. Calms the insides. Should get you through the night. You might check around, see if you can find some. Meanwhile, I'll see if we can scare you up some water. I wag the knob and I can't not cry. When on the knob walks into the room, I forgot the lyrics of the song. I know you want to hunt before it gets much darker. Okay. Let's see about refilling our water first. Got a sick one here. He has any direction. Uh, see this prophecy. Would I find these berries? They grow on a bush that's common around here. Kind of funny looking. You'll know it when you see it. Doubt you'd have to go far off the road to find one. Uh, what about those ones? you won't see on half the hills of Air Glonfoth. Money to be made selling their knickknacks in Defiance Bay, if you don't mind getting stuck with Glonfoth and arrows now and again. They didn't build them, but I'll be the effigy hmm. if they don't watch them like a mother bear. So I think the same voice actor did voice tend to maybe... Of course, all the ones around here have been ransacked ten times over. Got nothing left worth half a pawn, so I hear. Who did build these? Got ones. different names for them. Settlers called them Inguithans. Nobody that liked them enough to stop them becoming ruins tell you that much. What's the freaking huge rocks in the ground? They don't got Audra where you come from? Well, it just grows up out of the ground like this. Goes deep like tree roots. Some of it all the way to the heart of the world, you believe the stories. I've read some of the scroll, but I haven't read all of it. Um, I'm current. I was. I had to decide between uh, Wheel of Time or this world, and I chose Wheel of Time. And I'm kind of like, I'm gonna finish Wheel of Time, which I'm at the seventh book now. I think, if you count the first book as well, the Prelude. Um, and after that, I was planning on doing that. And after this scroll, the the Earth Sea Sagas. But yeah, I don't have much time to read. I just read everywhere, literally, in in the car, in the bus, whenever I wait to the doctor. I kind of read everywhere I get time to. It's more like a shell than a proper rock. Easier to work if you're a mason. Got all kinds of strange properties. Seems to have some kind of life of its own. Dies if it gets dug up. Ew. Loses its luster. Folks think it probably grew at one point or another, but not these days. The soul butchers in Defiance Bay use it for different things. I've heard tell it can hold a man's soul, oh, but shit. I don't care to see it. Got enough to worry about without seeing something like that. Oh, okay. Definitely want to go close to those. Hold on. 
Take someone with you. I know you're not some helpless tenderfoot. Not like most Kalisha. No. I gotta press Kalisha. that. Kalisha! It's a own to go alone. Take this. Take my woman. He needs to find some spring berries. Watch that he doesn't drop dead. No promises. Yeah, the OFC sagas are like a, a set of fantasy books written by Ursula, I want to say something. What I'm very bad at Says something like that. Kind you can afford. <laughs> I like you. I like you already. Don't listen to her. You're in good hands, and I pay too well, if anything. Off with you. Hayden should have supplies. See that you're equipped before you head out. We're in harsh country. Get your berries and hurry back. And if you get so much as a tickle of wind, you drop everything and you run. Something in the air tonight. If it's a beewick, we'll shelter in the ruins. Hut dwellers be damned. Okay. Okay, so we have a welcome to Fears of Eternity. Uh, first of all, to the world of Vera, you may want to watch these windows become familiar with the tools interface. Okay. You heard the man. Sure. Let's get going before you kill over. Consists of a character and up to five additional uh, adventurers. While the caravan is camped outside of Ganfana ruins, the demon has assigned Kalisha to help you. Kalisha is a fighter, a class that excels at close quarter defense. Use her abilities to complement your own. What you need? Okay, so we get a fighter from the beginning. That's pretty cool. Um. Stefan Karut! Hello and welcome to Shash, Stefan Karut. Always good to see you. Path of the Damned. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. That's what I said, but Chad made me. Chad made me do it. They fucking. They fucking. They fucking shut down my game. Okay, so, um. Um, let's. See what your abilities are. Uh. Oh, yes, we got the pre order items. So. Because we we call. We call and we, uh. I don't know if the is a sector, the action hidden. We kickstarted this, so let's see what we get. This item grants the ability to shield the world from the myriad perils that plague the world of Era, an aspect of the Gaunt FS. Mm, symbolizes here many interrupting sickles from us. As Gaunt protects the dignity of old age, so do his followers pledge to prevent young lives from being harvested before the time. Okay, we're gonna put this on. The Obsidian Order is shrouded in the mystery of the Hand of Cold, having few clues of their journey. Some scholars have speculated that the Order's members are a device group. Um, brought together by the love of exploration, fierce battle, and wondrous stories. Adventurers! A guild of adventurers! Oh, look at that! Look at that, guys! Whoo! Nob the Marvelous! Looks even more sexy. I will I'll just take you in my bag, Nob. And giant miniature space piglet, because why the fuck not? There we go, space piglet. Um, two. I'm I'm kind of trying to keep up with chat as well, but okay, nothing. Oh, and yeah. if you if you really have a question or something you wanna tell me, uh, best write my name at check six one six in the message so it gets highlighted in red so I can make sure to read it. Um, okay, so you have a scare armor. That's pretty cool. Good, good uh, HP. Nice damage. Rapier and stiletto. Ooh, I like these. Oh, I think that's it. Hmm. So this guy said that there's somebody in here. Anyone that... need supplies? Oh, I nice. Got sundries for sale. Mm -hmm. Okay, what can you use though? Uh, what are you? What are you skilled in? Um, let's see, Kusha fighter, active effects stealth. Um, I have absolutely no idea what weapons you can use. Okay, so well, mm -hmm. let's see what what we get from this guy. You see a man wearing a simple but mostly neat clothes. He's transfixiated, however, by a tear and has seam of his tunic. Bought a whole wagon full of goods to sell, but not enough shirts for the road. <laughs> Say, is there anything you need? I've got some basic traveling supplies for sale, if you'd like to take a look. Okay, so let's see. Uh, great sword. Wait, no. Uh, how much gold do we have? 
Still allowed to trade, sell your items, so copper pieces. Um, if you sell something, you may. May sell it. Much higher cost. Those probably could refresh their inventory. Okay, so we have 100 copper, pe copper pieces. So we don't have that much to kind of give around but i think i think i'm gonna get a crossbow because i want a range the uh, range figgy for a guy i think i'm gonna get a crossbow let's see speed slow well a hunting bow would be average and a war bow would be average okay what's the damage on these 11 16 Oh, 2028. 20, oh, that's a lot. Strong interrupt. Average interrupt. Um, now the question is, what do I want from these guys? Yeah, for now, for now, it looks like a very nice game. Um, I think, th so this is, this is a pretty cool item at the, but you know what, I feel, I feel like, uh, it would be, just be way too slow. Okay, so let's go for a hunting bow. Let's do a hunting bow, and see, I, I kind of wanted a great sword for her, but we're gonna, we're gonna make do with, without it. Not enough up. Huh? Well, let's sell this back. It's gonna get a boat. There we go. Weapon set number two. Now, how do we change weapon sets? Um, huh? Ah, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, I bought uh, I bought a, a bow. With pillars of maturity, we strive with every level to both evoke the essence of the beloved Infinity Engine games, as well as introduce yeah. something new and engaging for players to experience in the world of Aora. The caravan and camp it was no exception to this goal, as the introduction area and the first impression of Aora this has to so offer. Cool. It really needed to speak to this the player so cool. from the get go. Eh? Keeping in mind this principle, no we needed to begin the game with an image that instilled simultaneously the feeling of adventure players may be enough. familiar with in eh? a Dungeons and Dragons anywhere. setting, no problem. while introducing them to our own unique world. The idea of a caravan huddled around a flickering campfire both seemed familiar and befitting as a humble province. beginnings to a grand adventure. By setting the scene before a large ancient ruin with peculiar stone-like objects growing from the ground, we felt this would introduce them to some of the key landmarks of the Deerwood. Another principle in our design was non-linearity. Oh shit. Okay. Um, by the way, the commentary thing is like a thing you can enable. It is so cool! The commentary thing is so cool. Uh, one of the mods, um, can you replace, can you add the title, um, designer commentary enabled? Like, can you add it in the title? Somewhere? I like crowbar whoever. Thanks. Wolves, okay. Uh you attack. You do a blinding strike on him. And you are going to just ship a new with enormous force knocking them prone and causing a little damage. He's gonna go in and normally attack. Pillars of Ha! Got him! Woo! One shot! Currently, is a game about choice. Oh no, we didn't. We didn't kill him. Wait. And consequence. We didn't want our introduction to feel like an what entirely guided experience, so we opted to keep the flow of the level pretty open to exploration. Once the player has Not finished so speaking with a demo, they are free to wander around the immediate area and examine their surroundings, even find what clues that foreshadow their inevitable ambush. A situation that very quickly teaches the player the concept of consequence sure. in our world. Ooh, I love that. I, I mm -hmm. like how that works. Uh, burned lady. I have absolutely sure. no idea what it is. Thanks. Uh, Stairhorse. This is not Path of Iron. This is Path of the Damned. 
So this is the highest difficulty setting you can go on on the game. But we aren't playing uh, Path of Iron because I think that... So alone, I would do it just for my personal thing. Like, oh, I completed this game on Path of Iron. But for you guys, it's going to be quite boring. It's going to be really boring it. watching something be done over and over again when I die, for example. Kind of a mystery to the rest of the cabin, just some kind of wonder, the way I hear it. Another uh, things to happen with orphans. Sure, I wander into people's uh, into lives of fools, talk to them all with money on their back out. Um, nah, no, I kinda like her. I kinda like her. Um, you have to be when people are looking for you. Yeah? How did you happen to come here? I think uh, I have something that belongs to them, something they're pretty intent on getting back. I crossed dangerous people, I couldn't stick around. I don't know why they're looking for me, I don't care to find out. I crossed dangerous people, I couldn't stick around. You do what you can to survive. What else can be expected, did you? It's been a long time since I've been this way. I was dead like it. Oh, the way Jake saw for makes a girl think. I'll give him that. You here to settle like the rest of the lot? No, I'm just passing through. It's usually the case with the big, big city just a little ways further up the road. Where are you headed? Probably wander for a while, so I can. I have no idea where I'm going next. Uh, anyway, special just putting as much uh, time and distance between me and my old wife as I possibly can. Seeing as you were halfway between nowhere and nothing, I'd say you picked the right spot. Okay, oh, and by the way, if I miss something, it's gonna be because I read around here. Again, if you really want me to read something, you include my name in the message. So it gets highlighted in the red for me. Um, of course it's not gonna be easy. I never expected it to be easy. I just thought it wouldn't be fun for people to watch me doing it again and again and again. I love horrendous difficulty. Well, go for you, dude! Um, okay, why are you here? My sister moved out here sometimes back. She sent me a letter. She seemed worried. Well, that's how she always is. This time, though, she asked me to come out. And that got me a little worried. I haven't seen her in ages. Been doing uh, guide work in Ex Matteo. Uh, not even gonna try and pronounce that. How do you, uh, yes, like that. Exactly like that. That highlights my name. Uh, that highlights like it in chat in red, so I can see it easier. But I do anything for her. She's well. She's much better woman than me, and I'm here. So I'm here, and uh, we'll see. Odema, I've worked with before. He doesn't usually drive or route this way, but he's doing quite fine for me. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of fun for the first ten times, but after that, it gets it gets boring. So that's why I opted out for my own mode. Um. Tell me about yourself. I have simple needs like open skies and far horizons. I find work that lets me live that way. My family wanders too. We started in Deerwood, but my parents ended up in the Living Lands. I've got a brother in uh, Rautai, another in Avir. My sister is in the Gilded Vale. She's the only real homebody. Well, I like you. You're a wanderer like me. You know, I wouldn't hold my breath that Sparfle's getting your water anytime soon. He does what he feels like. When he feels like it, we should check up on him first. Slap him around first. Stream's just down that way. Come on, let's go get your water. Done, let's go. Hmm? It's red for me. So it doesn't it doesn't show up red for you, but it does show up red for me. So just give you a fast example. See, that's my chat. So it just went red for me there. That's how it looks like. No problem. No problem. Do you know who to highlight interactive thing? What? Do you know how to highlight stuff? Yes, a uh, tab. It's kind of a. It's it's kind of a tradition that tab is used for that. Like in any game, tab is kind of used for that. The path winds through a you narrow canyon. Too far. Okay, no. 
Uh, Evo, how you It's actually not Twitch. It's better Twitch TV. So it's kind of an unspoken thing. Whenever you go into streaming and you kind of walk around and see, oh, what would be, what do I need to get into streaming? Better Twitch TV improves your experience as a viewer and as a streamer. So that's where it, it gets uh, the red mark from. It's a um, it problem you can get on Firefox or uh, on Google Chrome. If you just search for better Twitch TV, you'll find it. What do we have here? Hey, fam! Oh, oh, oh shit, that's a deer. Let's go hunting! Um, let's actually go on the other side of here first. What a surprise. Sparful went hunting. At least he left the water skins. Come on. Uh, I think he didn't go hunting. You crouch an overbank and dip your waters in the cool... Well, while Kaliska waits nearby, keeping watch. As you rise, you notice circle cast sharply at a two-line. Up the trees emerges Sparful, one of the guides. Barely discernible in the dim moonlight. He no longer carries his bow. And there is a strangeness to his gait, a spastic wobble in his ordinary deft strides as he moves towards you with wavered breath. Sparful, are you alright? Sparful stares, catches you on a rock, and he collapses forward in a heap, the feathered shaft of an arrow planted between his shoulder, like an enemy flag. Ambush! Bandits! Um. Shit. Uh. Blinding strike. No. Since the weapon was supposed to please once you when the attack hits, the DR will wipe out all but a small percentage of the incoming damage. No. Shit. Okay. That's uh not good. There we go. Come on. Go, Kalisha. Go, Kalisha. Nice. Come on, we have to get back to camp. Uh, get us roots first, dude. Seriously? Come on. We just bought that and we get it from here. Ah! That's annoying. Um. Eh? Huh? Sure. Wait. Wait, there's a whole camp here. Let's do this stuff. Um. There we go. Put another camp on this thing to a few days or longer. Because okay, so these guys, the, the the people who made the camp will attack as well. No, oh, I know about Winswood though. Winswood is an awesome character. I read, I said, like, read a bit of it, so I know like a couple of the characters. Kind of, I kind of read the first book. I, I I read the first book. I actually do not remember if I read the whole of it. It's been so long ago since I picked up the Discord box. They're still in my ebook, but I haven't read them yet. Amazing mid for the game, yes. I, I'm so hyped for this game. I just am so happy that we get to play this. Cross in the cold and touch a dark, crusted god stain. This Mitch is the wind and cloth. Um, so we start with mere armor, definitely better, isn't it? Yeah, now we're just six, five, okay. Ooh, pretty cool. Um, I have a lockpick, that's pretty cool. If it was lighthearted, I I would be disappointed. Oh shit! Um. 
Okay, let's take out let's take out this guy first, like real fast. Oh shit. Shit. What? Oh shit, that's not going good. On her as ass, come on. Here we go. Yeah? Let's go! Come on, come on, take out, take out. Damn, missed. There we go. Okay, you both target the same guy. Come on, Karisha. Come on, Karisha, I can do it. Go, Koisha, go! That's it, Koisha. Good attack in your forward west one defense affection. This is much higher than your policy. Yeah? So what is this though? Oh, mm -hmm. she's fatigued. Okay. Got it. Got it. Uh, wait. What's the quick save button? Wait. Let's change the quick save button. Um. Done. Oh shit! Oh shit, everybody died. Oh fuck. A handful of dark figures stand above the fawn, dragging out whims and backs and heads, jerking their axes from bodies that have split rocks. As they prepare to add you to the spawning pile beneath, one of them towering and severe with a thick beard, tassels with knots, holds a wet braid, neck of a man you recognize as human. The rest of your caravan are standing. Lay down your arms, trespasser. Do not forfeit this man's life for the fight you will lose. Um, let's see. Diplomatic, I don't know what you are, but I didn't want anything to do with this. Trying to either away, why make it easy? We have not trespassed, we merely wish to pass through. Your words carry no weight when you have seen the truth with my own eyes. Blood must be paid for this intrusion. Right, so I say again, lay down your arms. Interesting, okay, so we have a couple. Your courage is a mask. None of you have yet slain a true warrior. The man of Alquis is questioning. We have killed many trespassers like you. Your kills are sloppy. The wounds on the people are inefficient and off-target. This is the work of untested men, accustomed to carelessness. The man bears, uh, bears his teeth. He looks at here and helpless. His eyes shut tightly for the killing blow. We will see whose courage is a mask. Yes! Okay, we saved here then. Uh, the man wakes his braid against his and throws her and screams and stumbles forward at the wide gash and screaming into boom crimson. Oh shit. Okay, um... How what, can I help? what is this guy though? What a, What are you? Uh, rogue. Shit, you're... God damn it, why did you have to be a rogue? Why did you have to be a rogue? Um... Well, well, you have your ability. Um, where, where sneak attack, and you have blinding as well. Well, not it. Let's gonna blind him. Uh, do we focus fire. I think we focus fire on the on the boss here. Hmm. <laughs> 
shit, this guy might go down. Run! Oh shit, this guy's gonna die. This means they're not out of sight, but as long as you're on the side, they will regenerate their endurance when combat ends. Oh, okay, so he's not completely dead. Okay, that's pretty cool. After them! Sure. There we go, come on! Come on, kill them! Hmm? What you need? There we go, breather down! Kill the hunter! Kill him! Uh, oh, one of the characters here is. Uh, so they may soon be able to kill the rest of the Enterprise. Oh shit, um. Okay, so this is bad. Um, can we equip and unequip stuff during combat? We can't. Okay, we might have to reload. Well, we'll try to the end. We'll try to the end. You know what, let's, let's change around to you fighting because you have some healing charges on you. Come on, kill him! This is not good, this is not looking good! What you need? Shit. Come on. Come on. You deaf. Oh, yes. Almost there. Ten damage, you death. Yes! Victory! We have won. Forgive us. Uh, as the man head says, well, then closes them. Good, good. The gods are just. A queer smile crosses his face. I am ready. The wind begins to swell, whipping all around the camp, electric and volatile, appending roots and rattling tents like an angry spirit. You can feel it begin to seep beneath your skin like a dirty beginning to succumb to the surge of a great wave. And when it pierces you, it feels as though it is rending you apart from within. Seated against the wagon, um, Odema's bo oh, body stirs, and with great effort he raises his sagging head. His eyes barely open. He looks the wreckery at you. Get inside! Run! The fuck is happening? Straining, uh, straining against a gale that threatens to pull you off your feet with every step. You set your hands in the worn folds of weathered rock and set about pulling yourself up the precip. With a last burst of energy, before your arms give out, you swing yourself up on the ledge. Hearden trails behind, slowed by injury and delayed by early hesitation. As he nears the face of the rocks, one of the fallen attackers who had been feigning death lunges for Hirdan and topples him atop the rocky ground. Restrained, Hirdan rashes out against his fatigued assailant, but struggles to break his hold. They are close to you. From your position, you would have a good chance of hitting your mark. Grab a, a, a rock and hurl at the attacker. 
Your aim is true, and the head jars Hildan Rus. Roaching to his feet, Hildan crambles up the base of the rocks, and as he nears the top, however, the wind flares, pulling him sliders and tearing, uh, tearing one of his hands free. Oh shit. But divining, but diving out onto the hard rock, you manage to catch hold of him. Securing his other hand, you pull him waning, or with pull with waning strength, and it feels as though your arms will be jerked from the sockets. They hold just long enough for Hildan to set his feet and join you on the trembling wretch. This is so awesome! There's a deep resonance to the dwelling, swearing wind now. You feel it in the rocks beneath your feet and inside the cavity of your own chest, as though it would shake the marrow from your bones. Each new gust menaces the old stones before you, loosening connections and settling balances. As you dart beneath the old archway, the entire portal begins to fall beneath its own weight. Do 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 Chucking rocks, chucking rocks, chucking rocks for the win. A Buick had to be. Then we're lucky to be alive. And we're the only ones. <laughs> we can't stay here. There could be another collapse. We're not getting out that way anyway. Let's get further inside. Can you walk? Okay, we can walk. Uh, can we... can we, like, take a rest? Is that a thing? I have no camping surprise, huh? Well, let's quick Check. save. Yeah? We really need to take a rest. That should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? We look for another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Protect us. Grandfathers. Those bee hut dwellers that I warned you about. Look for fangs. Look to be fangs of Garwin, who's the twitch chiefs of the rot. They go ruin the ruin, looking for fights with colonists. Poor them, I think he half expected this. Once we lost the main road. Don't seem too upset about all this. Maybe you just don't know me enough to know how upset it looks like. And maybe I've seen worse too. Seen worse and keep on walking. Because there's nothing else to be done. And because there's other people you care about who still need you. Well, let's get going. Could, could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. Seems quiet off to the left. Might be a place to rest there. Okay. Um, is that a spirit? That is a spirit pig, or Pichu. That is a spirit, a, a space spirit pig. Yes. I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfaldens were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Okay. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either got to find the exit or a damn good place to hide. We got to get rest and have him rest. We need all three of us at full strength. This will be the end of us. No offense, but there's people out there I'd much rather die for. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh. Q. What do we know? Yes. Whoa, hippos are the best. Wear things. Never, never seen a whoa hippo. Oh shit! Then he ran away. She ran away. By the gods, that's better. She did leave us. She won't get far Damn. unless. She took all our water. Oh, well, nothing we can do about it. Let's go. Shit, our warrior went away. That is not hmm? good. Hmm? How can I help? That is yeah. not good at all. No problem. Be quiet.
Wonder who was here. See if they left anything useful behind. Hmm. Camping surprise. Okay, we'll take Got that. Got it. We have two oaks in our party. This is not good, guys. This this is not good. Just putting it out there. Not good at all. Um. Okay. Hmm. That's about it. Hippos have bulletproof skin and can bite a man in two. Yes, I that I that I knew. Um uh, well she did not want to take a rest and this guy had a broken The ruin of Sealant Liss. Ooh. was a daunting dungeon to design, but also very gratifying as this was our chance to set the bar for our dungeons throughout the game. This was also one of the later dungeons designed during development. Oftentimes the beginning of the game is of the last content you end up producing. This is to ensure all the systems needed to make the experience fully fleshed out are implemented and functional so they can be taught to the player properly during this first moments of gameplay. Thus, by the time this dungeon was designed, we had learned many valuable lessons about the ways we could Look push the, tiles. the layout and flow of a dungeon, as well as utilize all systems in the eh? game no that at problem. this point had been fully this? flushed out. We also felt in many RPGs the starter dungeon often felt like a bland guided experience intended on cramming tutorials down the player's this? throat. We certainly didn't want Sealant List to repeat such a formula. We didn't want the player to hmm? be completely unfamiliar with yeah. the game's core mechanics either. That being said, we opted to have a very open-ended experience for the player. Each route the player takes in the dungeon will introduce them to yet another mechanic or yeah. feature in this game, whether it be detecting traps, scouting, no problem. or the use of scripted interactions, but neither is dependent on the other. The player has a choice here to choose their playstyle and be rewarded for it. The reward will then reinforce the value of this mechanic, while simultaneously yeah. teaching the player the role it plays in Pillars of Eternity. Okay. Sure. Um, you know what? You know what? Well, I think it would be a cool idea to do something here. Um, if we equipped, so let's put these here. Uh, we could easily equip um a crossbow now. One of them. Ooh, nice better armor. Okay, what kind of armor do you have? Mail armor. Nice. This is this is all good. Tree. Oh, pretty, pretty man. Um, well, who has the most HP here? Well, both of you have kind of the same. I'm gonna keep my main character right more, so he's gonna be the more important one here. Um, and now where's the crossbow? We just got a crossbow. There we go. We're gonna put a crossbow on this guy's second weapon set. So that when we first get into combat, can both help? of them can do a range attack and then change to their normal items. Yeah, I I rested. That's that's what happened. So I rested. She wanted to go on, and eh? she died, because well, she found herself in the Where's middle the of the traps, and uh, she fucked up. Oh, nope, nope, not their fist. I f I'm thinking there must be uh, something on here. There's like a little gremlin creature here. I oh, know, I'm gonna check that out. Easy peasy, women squeezy. Book save is gonna be our best friend in this game. Okay, can we talk to this creature? Hello? Um. It's okay, uh, I won't hurt you. If you cock this head and approaches you, soft clicking. <laughs> so we back away. Okay. Let's kill it.
Hmm? Yes, no Zoib has been mm -hmm. slain. Um, sure. To do do, let's get more items. Yeah. Ta -na 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 -na. Oh shit! What's this? Scoldo whelp. Okay, same thing. How I can want I help? you to change to this. Blinding strike it. Damn! Missed. Ooh, that's cool damage. But we're, we're taking a lot of damage as well, which is the problem here. Damn, missed! Ah, we made it. Sure. Okay, we good, we good. That's a pretty cool thing. Uh, we have like this a stamina bar, we have a much damage we take, and then our uh, kind of our health kind of goes up. I think it's called endurance. Just gonna call health one second. Take a look at the wall. Think we could get through? How can I help? Okay, sorry about that. Uh. Okay, so this no is problem. definitely going to uh, be used with a stone and chisel. One sec. Oh, that was so much, it's such a crutch kill. Give the poor thing some some food and then kill it. Uh, we couldn't. There was not the option of giving it food. Okay, so let's open this thing. A crack song is on this wall from floor to ceiling. A right gust of air passes through it. Use the hammer and chisel to work down the wall. Continue. Uh, you set off to work. The crack lengthens and widens with your efforts. But the process is more taxing than you'd expect. Sweat beads your forehead and your muscles begin to ache. Continue chiseling at the wall. After several long moments, you begin to see right on the other side. With one final tap, several blocks of stone shift, then tumble loose, clearing a gap just wide enough to pass through. It's a... Uh, it's uh, something somebody made for me, which is pretty cool. I like the font they used. And they sent it to me, so I just, I just normally use that. And whenever I kind of go off um, the game, I can leave that there. Okay, so I do not. This is this is this is such a cool dungeon here. Um, I think I want to go past this first. So let's see if we can figure out the traps. I'm guessing it has something to do in this room. Egomaniac, narcissistic, um, in love with myself. There's, there's a lot of yeah. Pretty sure I saw it on one of the tiles back there. Eh? Fire god wax, seriously? Well, well, not the fire god wax. But yeah. can't we like? Don't we have a torch or something similar? I think we had a torch. Um, let's take out. Where's that torch thingy? Do we have it? Oh, let's see this. I can believe my luck. A few rounds of dice, and I've got my hands on a genuine Anguifian artifact. Fair who said it uh, was pretty nothing as far as he's concerned. He's not willing to go digging in some ruins, but if he's right about this gem leading to a hidden treasure, then that's worth sneaking past a few painted elves. I just had to. She went with in the morning. It's just a matter of finding this relief uh, he was talking about. Okay, now, how do we, can we use this? As I'm thinking. There it is. No problem. I love that. I love the interactability of this. That it doesn't tell you that you can use your torch, uh, but if you just figure it out, you can. 
That is just pretty damn cool. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go up here. See if we are missing anything. Just the most draws must be ancient. Yeah, the colors seem to be bright and vivid. Oh, that doesn't build well. well let's see if we took rid of, to see if we got rid of these things. Oh, we got rid of some of them. Mm -hmm. Would you look at this? There we go. Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Easy does it. Easy does it. Eh? Do you feel that? There's a draft coming through that wall. I don't hear any sign of that storm either. Okay, so that means this is the way to go out. How can I help? We do not want to go mm -hmm. the way to go out. As any intrepid adventurer, we do not want to go the main way. Yeah? We want to explore everything. So, and because I'm just extremely excited to play this game. Oh! Shh. Shh. Huh? Okay. Hmm? Oh, we didn't die. Got it. No, I didn't. Because you can't. I failed. You failed to disarm this trap. We, dis we didn't disable all yeah. of them. So these things that we lit up disabled some of them. There's the symbols over on there, but not all of them. Time to see and not be seen. Ah, now we have black oozes. Let's go! Ow! Hmm? Yeah? Hmm? Nice! Hmm? I'm loving this. I am loving this. Um, okay, same thing. Both huh? of you sneak around. I love that both of them have surprise attacks. Um, hmm? so you know what? Pause. You attack here. You attack there. Blinding strike. Twice! Which, oh, oh shit, Bragging Strike doesn't work on her. Dagger, my friend. Dagger it. Like any adventure, oh, lock onto traps. Of course, yes. Of course, I, I mean, it's, it's just quite normal. Quite normal What's to lock traps. What's that muck on the wall? Ooh. Oh, fuck is that? Vicious annoying with muck squings to anything it touches. Uh, I'm guessing that's where the, the things are coming from. Well, quick save here and let's inspect this thing. Vicious Swix. Uh, no, no, the shapes and bulges in the ooze just that it's something lies beneath, but you can't tell what. Use the water screen to tell the ooze. Um, you rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. Oh, this is the relief from the um, from the journal. The symbol surrounding it has chipped away in many places, but the details of his head, from the tight curl of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty, a, ge a gem fills the other. Place the gem in the eye socket. The chamber begins to rubble, rumble, stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally, a large section of the wall gives away. Oh shit. Um. Yeah? That's the damage that I want to see. Hmm? 
That's 10 and yeah. 17. That's yeah. the damage I want to see. Gnob puts his knob into the weave. Well, if you think about it, the actual combination of two rogues is not that bad. Um, because both of them have blinding strikes, so I both of them can give themselves, uh, can give the other advantage in attacks. And the sneak attack that goes with the bonus damage that goes with a target being brightened and so on. Uh, so let's see, we just found a cloak. Um, cloak of protection. We have the cloak of protection. There we go. Now, this is unidentified, I guess. Of fortitude. Oh, no. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah. The four guys are now marvelous. The Guild of the Marvelous. Very cool mechanics until now. I'm loving the mechanics. Okay, so we've done that small puzzle over on there. Uh, let's come here and do this one as well. I could scout ahead, see what's around the corner. Be quiet. We could both squat the head. Oh, 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 shit. Uh, can we attract maybe only one of them? Hmm? Is that is that a thing? Okay. This we, How can I help? We might we might die here. <laughs> nope. Oh, that's three of them. Run. Got it. Seriously, they don't... They don't do the traps? Huh? Come on! That's just bullshit. I, I was just going to trigger the traps. Bullshit, I call! Plot armor! Hmm? Sure. Well, at least we'll arrive. Um, two, huh? one down, two to go. Huh? Are uh, those, I think they're supposed to be oversized, gigantic oversized rats. Quietly. Gnob runs away, but for fame and fortune he returns the pro, killing the giant rat. Two more yet to go. Gnob is killed. Hmm? How can I help? <sighs> yeah! How can I help? Oh shit. Let's go. Yeah. Damn, miss. Okay, I need to keep in mind to keep to put this guy in front because he has that uh he has that hewing ring. Sure. There we go, and... Zero out of ten, rats don't shoot traps. They should! They should! There we go. Victory for Gnob and the other elf. Oh, elf. No problem. Are you an elf? No, human? Looks like a human. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Let's, uh, eyes peeled. let's sneak around. This is gonna be a very hard playthrough if we just <laughs> with so much uh, sneaking around. Um, I, ex I actually were doing pretty good. I expected to die like completely until now. Huh. Damn, 
missed. Sure. 32 points of damage. That's what I want to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Do 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 Quiet. Easy does it. Hmm. Actually, run. Okay, no shit, no use running here. Um. <laughs> shit. Oh, but we can run from that one. No problem. Oh fuck. Oh, oh fuck. Useless. Sure. Useless. <coughs> yeah! Brand it. Yes. Ooh. Nice. No problem. Okay, that was not that was not easy. That yeah. was almost a one shot, guys. You see that spider? You see that damn spider? The amount of damage it did to us. Well, at least we can kite can it. I help? We can definitely kite mm -hmm. this, this motherfucker. Hmm? <clears throat> sure. Yeah! Huh? How can I help? 